The site was chosen in the mid-70s, and, and uh, I think part of the, the process in choosing an architect was how that architect actually wanted the building to uh, respond to the river. The fact that um, there hasn't been a lot of development along the river has been something that makes it a really beautiful um, beautiful subject to be painted or to be photographed. And, and uh, I think the fact that in the heart of a city, it's, it's maintained a lot, a lot of its natural beauty. I think that's, that's attractive. We haven't paid attention to the river nearly as much as we could have or should have, and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to actually see the potential that's, that's there, both at the Forks but all along the, the, the Thames River. When we landed on having Ron do a, a garden in the back, uh, it just seemed like the perfect match for a transition between the, the, the building and the river. We're also seeing it as an opportunity to kind of reconnect to, to the river and, and one, of the, one of the features that I'm really excited about is actually opening up the back of the building so that where we've got a, a solid wall now, uh, we would actually have a, a wall of, of glass uh, so that people walking into the museum would be able to sort of see through the space right out to the Forks of the Thames. This is really an exciting time and, and it seems like there's a whole number of, of initiatives coming together that is really going to animate that, that area um, in a terrific way.